afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a CWPA remote broadcast of the Southwest Division Regional Tournament, hosted by the University of Arizona Women's Water Polo Club. Our next game features SDSUA versus UC Irvine. SDSUA is in the dark caps. They'll be going from your right to your left. UC Irvine in the white caps, going from your left to your right. Taking their first attempt at offense. Watch your back. Driving into the driving into the center here with the whole set. Unable to make a goal. SUA. Again, showing some tenacious defense that we've seen all day today from many of these teams. You see Irvine moving into the whole set again. Great set shot here. SDSUA playing some great defense into the whole set. An exclusion. You see Irvine looking to take advantage. They're going to take a shot from the five meter line and pass into this to the right. Take a shot, looks like about 20 seconds on the shot clock here. 22. Moving along to the five meter line. Now the two meter line. Moving towards the whole set. Moving along back. A shot, unable to connect, but again, off the goalkeeper. Do you see Irvine with the first shot of the day and first goal? Number two. Starting the game off with an early 1-0 lead here in the first quarter. SDSUA taking their time, 20 minutes and 20 seconds, excuse me, in the shot clock. The shot, save. all day. The rest of these games, you've seen just how important these goalkeepers are when they've been on a roll. In fact, the uh, SDSUA, Montana Jackson, the goalkeeper, I believe had about eight saves in uh, the first game so up there with SDSUB. by number 15, Rachel Thompson. It will tie up this game here. It looked like there was some confusion in the back over there over a call of some kind. Only a few players over at the UC Irvine end of the field during that offensive. Either way. 1-1 here in the first quarter. Four minutes left. You see Irvine at the five-meter line. Bring the ball back. 
faking a shot, and a long shot from past the five meter line into the goalkeeper's hands. SDSU driving the ball towards the net, and a shot. It goes in. SDSU A with two. Looks to be number 15 again. Rachel Thompson bringing SDSU to the front here in the first quarter. CWPA YouTube channel, your number one video source for everything water polo. Check out our Tip of the Week series, Inside Water Moments, Highlights, and more. Visit www.youtube.com and search CWPA Water Polo. Also, keep an eye out for the new Tip of the Week library, all on the new Collegiate Water Polo website. Back to the field here in the first quarter. Probably about three minutes left, I imagine, or a little bit, just a little under four. You see Irvine on the offensive here, looking to bring the game back to 2 2. A shot saved. Montana. Jackson. Again, we spoke about SDSU B team and A team game. Both goalkeepers. Extremely impressive performances. And again, Montana Jackson showing that again in this game here. Shot into the center here. Stays away with 10 seconds of the shot clock. Looking to make something happen. The whole set. UC Irvine able to recover. UC Irvine a little bit of breakaway here at the two mirror line. Breakaway, perhaps fouled. You see Irvine taking a five more penalty shot. And a big moment here. Could tie the game here in the first quarter. We've seen today multiple times just how much of a lead can, can help a team against such short, tough defenses. Here we go from the five meter line. You see Irvine. Montana Jackson with a save. Set 
said it once and I've said it again, the importance of the goalkeepers in these games cannot be understated. SDSU will look to take a shot. Save. And by UC Irvine goalkeeper. Looking for an outlet pass here. There, SDSU's ball. Driving down the field. SDSU looking for the shot. Unable to make it in. Looked like it went in for a second. But it did go off the hand of the goalkeeper and over the net. SDSU going for another shot. Skip shot, unable to connect. Did bounce off the right side of the net there. You see her mind. Five year line on the right side of the net. Passing to the hole, set looking for a shot here. Able to find it. You see Irvine making the game 2 2. Number nine. They'll make the game 2-2 here in the first quarter. Looks like we got six seconds left on the actual clock. In fact, quick shot from SDSU. Just over the top left of the net there. Actually looked like it was pretty close. That's the end of the first quarter, though. SDSU A, 2. UC Irvine, 2. at the end of the first quarter.
That cheer for the team. We are back for quarter two. SDSUA two, UC Irvine two. Game seven here at the Southwest Division Regional Tournament. Defense here. Let's see Ryan trying to find an opportunity. Pass into the whole set. SDSU able to recover the ball. Out the pass to the right there. Near center of the pool. SDSU at the right side of the two meter cone. Looks like trying to get into the whole set. Five meter cone bring into the center of the pool. Into the whole set. See if something gets something happen. A backhand. You see Irvine goalkeeper able to stop it. Her fourth save this quarter. At this quarter, excuse me. Her first save this quarter. Fourth save overall for the game. over the top of the net, top of the crossbar there. A good opportunity that CSU had a wide open shot there. You see her moving down the pool. CSU looking to get the ball back. Jackson showing some aggression there. Moving the cage. This year line, the two meter line. Back to the five. Trying to find that right, that right opportunity, the right hole to shoot through. Okay, 20 seconds on the shot clock. A little bit of time. Right to the two meter line, the right side. And a shot just over the top. Again, both teams shaking, taking shots from just about outside the five-meter line. Showcasing the defense in both teams, unable to make the shots from inside the two-meter. SDSU making the way to the five-meter line. On the right side of the pool, 27 on the shot clock. And a shot into the goalkeeper's hands. You see Irvine, goalkeeper, two goals, excuse me, two saves this quarter. Five overall. Perhaps a timeout. No balls on the ball. Look at play stop at just time. Now we're back. 
Here by the two meter line, left side of the cage. Back to the five meter in the center. Again, both teams trying to find that opening. And back and forth from the right to the center. And a shot from the left. like a goal. It looks like no goal. Both teams are making their way out of the, end of the pool. 2-2. Two -two. 20 seconds on the shot clock. SDU. SDSU. The left side of this. Oh. Skip shot. Looked like it went in. Bounced off the left side of the post. Against the goalkeeper. And back left post again. He went in, but obviously did not cross the line. Both teams still playing on here. SDSU still looking for that opening. Right side from the five meters. Looking for a shot. Ordinary in the pass. On the left side of the shot. Unable to make it in off the top again. Both teams shooting for that top corner. Here on the left side. And a goal by UC Irvine. Number 16. UC Irvine takes the lead here at quarter two. 32. Again, both teams have spent about four minutes of this quarter just to get one goal. It shows you just how important each goal is is in this game when, you're, when they are proving to just make SDSU at the five meter. And it's an skip shot right into the hands of the goalkeeper. Her sixth save. You see your mind. Mid pool facing some tough defense here from SDSU. SDSU really trying to to maintain that deficit at one, do not want to make it two. We've seen two end teams today here. And both teams are playing such tough defense at two point deficit. UC Irvine able to make that deficit two. UC Irvine, number two with the score. Her second today. Again, I was, as I was just saying, I want to maintain these deficits to a one to two minimum. SDSUA looking to close that gap here in the second quarter. With, uh, about a minute 50 before halftime. Oh, I pass over to the right two meter cone. Back to the five meter again. Looking for this opening. Now. It's proving to be very key in this game. It'll make it past the goalkeeper there. About a minute 30 to spare. Number seven, Alyssa Perrins. SDSUA, three. UC Irvine leads with four. UC Irvine, the two-meter line, the whole set. A light toss off the top of the crossbar there. Most likely less than a minute to go here with 30 seconds on the shot clock. SDSU looking to close the gap. Excuse me, I left it a minute. We're at a minute. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Big moment here for SDSU to close out the half at tied. Let's see what they can do. Move the ball to the whole set. Good opportunity here. You see Irvine not letting him have it. You see Irvine goalkeeper leaving the cage a little bit of aggression here. Clear out the ball. Outlet pass to the pool. Five meter cone. Sierra Line. A little bit of an opening here. On the right side, the five meter. 
Back to the center of the five, looking to find that whole set again. Hopefully a few seconds on the shot clock, not many left. Back to the center. Looking for that opening, oh! Pass over the head there, it might cost them. Shot clock runs out, and that is halftime. <coughs> UC Irvine leads four to three. This is your cap seven tip of the week. Hello, my name is Bradley Schumacher, two-time Olympic gold medalist and co-founder of CAP7 International. Today we're going to be talking about a six-on-five situation where we have our team set up in a 3-3 and we're looking to specifically attack one area of the, of the group. Okay, so in this situation, you know, the way we number this on our team, so everybody knows if I say, hey, 3-3, you're in the four spot. Okay, this is one, this is two, this is three. This is four, this is five, and this person is just center or whatever you want to call it. But they're in the center of the goal. Same numbers as you would the number of a front court offense situation. But I number it like this because it's just really it's much faster when you're on a timeout. I say, hey, three, three, and then I can yell out the positions or I have the positions listed as to where they're going and they know where to go but based on the position. The ball always comes to the three spot, okay? This person cannot shoot. Why? If they shoot in this situation, two on one, two goal turnaround, we're going to get scored on. Okay. This person's job is you're, you're a strong shooter, but your best decision maker. Okay. And the person that we're setting up to shoot is the two spot every single time. What we're going to do, get the ball here. We're going to start attacking forward and towards this player, towards the side of the goal. As soon as they get the ball and start addressing this player, this player is going to swim and turn their back to this player as a kind of like a back pick. So I'm going to swim in and post on them just like this. Probably show my hands. And the greatest thing about this in the whole world is that this person is going to shift about three or four feet and then over the top, skip, goal, right? What's the, what are the potential defensive scenarios? What's read number two? Read number two is this. As I shift in, this is a really smart defender. They fight to the outside. I get the ball. Ball goes to the two post for a slam. So as I'm swimming in, I'm swimming in to set the pick. The defender sees what the, we're going to shift down from two. The person slides to the outside. As soon as I see that person slide to the outside, I step back, I get on my legs. My player locks, gives me the ball inside, and I stuff it home. Okay. If you get to the, the, the third read, let's say they're really smart, okay, and they jump here and they get us, they're like really forcing us to make a long pass. Okay, in that scenario, if we think about this and we've attacked this way, right? If we do release the ball all the way over to here, then their job is to go back in, inside, okay, right? You have to make them, you have to force them to guard us because this, this player will be open on the inside because this player is up high. How often does that happen? Very rarely. And if you have to make this pass to, to the inside, you probably, you know, your percentage of scoring goes down, okay? But when you're thinking about a 3-3, three, three, the most important three, thing is to have this three-player have a crazy amount of discipline not to shoot the ball. Because if they shoot the ball, it's a guaranteed two-on-one the other way. All right? That'll wrap us up in the six-on-five on a 3-3. Three, three. Um, if you have more questions, please visit uh, the CWPA website and check out the library for all kinds of fundamental skills and drills to improve your game.
right, we are back, quarter three. UC Irvine, SDSUA, UC Irvine leads, four to three. Game brought to you by CWPA. I am Jack Barron, your remote announcer. And the swim off starts. Irvine and the Whitecaps moving to the left on your screen. Win the swim off with 30 seconds on the shot clock. Good first opportunity here to take back, not take back, excuse me, to widen their gap. SDSUA to recover and look at their first attempt this half. Trying to find that opening. Let's be a stop on the play. Some type of confusion down the water on the pool there. Uh, looks to be on the SDSU side. Perhaps. Players moving back. Ball to SDSD. Looks to be a penalty shot. Big moment here to close the gap. You see Irvine able to stop it. You see Irvine goalkeeper's seventh save today. And a big moment there to maintain their lead. You see Irvine moving back down the SDSD side of the field. Fifteen seconds on the shot clock. Come on. Looking to extend that lead to two. A number that we've seen kill some teams today. Five seconds on the shot clock. Let's go, Cindy! looking for that moment. SDSU trying to stop the clock. And they do. That shot clock. SDSU. Again, are going to try and close that gap and bring it to a 4-4 game. SDSU making their way to the five meter count. You see Irvine it will turn over the ball, driving towards the cage. SDSU trying to stop her. This will be a struggle in the water. SDSU able to recover. Could have been a big moment there. Again, SDSU able to come back from one. Two, two we We've seen two. Some teams unable to come back from two today. But one, one might be doable. And a shot from the from behind the five meter line. Number 12, <laughs> Kayla McGowan, SDSU is back in the game, 4-4 here in quarter three. You see Irvine fighting to take back that lead. You 
Chiefs here by the five meter. Again, looking for that opening. Both teams not giving each other any openings. Off the left post there. Montana Jackson sitting the center of the cage. Might not have been able to save it. But off the left, left side of the cage there. SDSU driving to the five meter cone. You see Irvine able to stop that drive. Both teams not allowing each other to get shots off. You see Irvine driving the ball in the five meter cone. He's on the right with a wide, wide shot here. SDSU trying. Able to turn over the ball, it looks like. It looks like an ordinary. You see Irvine, chance to pass. So back to the five meter, 13 shots on the clock. Monte Jackson able to stop it. SDSU making their way back. Both teams not allowing each other. You see Irvine able to take the ball back. You see Irvine, a little bit of a breakaway here. SDSU able to stop it. Nope. Looks to be a penalty shot. A big moment here. UC Irvine could take back the lead. Three minutes here in the third quarter. Montana Jackson able to stop it. SDSU keeps the game at 4-4. come down to a mistake from one of the teams. SDSU at the five meter. Looking for that opening, pass to the whole set. Looking to capitalize, unable to. Back to the mid pool. You see Irvine being aggressive with the defense. End of the shot clock there. UC Irvine gets a chance. You see Irvine near the whole set, unable to shoot. Two minutes, 13 in the third quarter. SDSU at the five meter cone. Pushing towards the cage. This could be the potential opening. It could be a call of some kind. You see Irvine's ball. And we have a timeout. Understandable in this moment. Two minutes left in the third quarter. 4-4. Four, four. Both teams trying to find the opening, trying to find an opportunity, or waiting for the other team to make a mistake. Teams making their way back to the pool. 
SDSUA, UC Irvine, both at four here in the third quarter. UC Irvine's ball. Again, a big part of this game and, and this whole tournament in general has been finding those openings on offense. You see Irvine on the left side into the whole set. Big opportunity here. SDSU able to recover. They do. About a minute 30 left here in the third quarter. SDSU driving down the field here at mid-pool. Irvine playing some aggressive defense here, past the five meter cone. Ordinary. Irvine, outlet pass here on the right side. Towards the five meter cone, into the whole set, big moment here. SDSU able to stop it. Goalkeeper comes out, covers the ball. Looks to be about 50 seconds. This year, Irvine playing some aggressive D out in mid pool. Didn't want SDSU to even have the opportunity to shoot. Going towards the hole, then a shot. You see Irvine able to stop it. Just on the tip of her finger. Close one. Her first save of this quarter. Her looks like her ninth of the game. Irvine, the right side, looks like 10 seconds on the clock here. Someone's looking to take a shot. Three seconds, someone. Oh, SDSU able to save it. A tense last minute shot there. And that's the end of the third quarter. SDSUA, UC Irvine four. Excuse me, both are at four and heading into the fourth quarter. A nail biter for sure. Getting bored? Huh? I'm just really cold. Uh, What's up this is all I have. Enjoying today's water polo action? The CWPA Network has more streams in store for the 2017 Women's Club season. Keep checking www.collegiatewaterpolo.org and visit our tentative schedule for the upcoming season under the Multimedia and Remote Streaming tab.
seven, tip of the week. The two meter player obviously is the center of, of the game. Just like a center in basketball, you don't wanna be a black hole. It's really important you understand your position in the pool, and then once you... My apologies for cutting that tip of the week short, but fourth quarter starting up here, and with a nail biter like this, I didn't think any of you want to miss it. And if you're just joining us, it is the fourth quarter. SDSUA with four, UC Irvine with four, fours all around here. It has been a very intense game. Again, both teams playing much more aggressively. Let's go from down to one point. Cook them down to one mistake, one opportunity. You see Irvine with the opening. Again, you see Irvine in the white. Moving to your left. SDSUA in the black. Moving to your left. You see your mind in the two meter cone, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Go through, Michaela! Look at Michaela! Look at Michaela! Look at Michaela! 10 seconds on the shot clock. You see your mind might have a chance here to take a shot. Come on! Another 30 seconds on the shot clock here. On the left side of the two meter cone, back to the five meter cone in the center. 19 seconds on the shot clock. Trying to find that opportunity, trying to find that opening. We're at 10 seconds. To the left side now. And nobody! SDSU goalkeeper able to save it, Montana Jackson. Both goalkeepers doing an extremely good job today. You see Irvine with the ball again. SDSU now. Making their way down the pool. Now mid pool. Find that opening to take the lead here in the fourth quarter. Making way to the five meter pin. And a shot! And a goal! A skip shot on the left side of the net by number 12, Kayla McGowan. SDSUA taking a lead at five. An incredible shot there. Right off the water in the left side of the net. Right past the UC Irvine goalkeeper here in the fourth quarter with five minutes left. That could be the key shot. SDSU out on the breakaway. Could they make it two? And here at the two meters, off the top at the crossbar, and it'll make it two. At the five meter line. There's some issues with the stream there, but we are back. That's Desue. Again, trying to solidify that lead. Two points would be a comfortable lead here in the fourth quarter. The two meter line. You see Irvine take back the ball. We're trying to close that one point deficit. About five minutes left in the fourth quarter. You see Irvine. Two meter line. It's a one on one. The defender. Pass into the whole set. Able to get it by SDSU. Right by Montana Jackson. Looks to be number nine. You see Irvine. Has tied up this game. SDSUA 5, UC Irvine 5 here in the fourth quarter. About four minutes left. <clears throat> SDSUA's ball. Back to mid pool. 
Five meter count. You see her behind the mid pool making her way toward the five meter cone. Down the right side. Making their way to the two meter trying to find that hole set. That's DSU now with the ball. Big shot here. You see Irvine able to stop that skip shot there. Very close. Maintain five and five. Hey, two up. Two up. on the right side, the five meter cone. Looking for an opening. Back into the whole set. A race. Both, both the whole set and the goalkeeper both reach for the ball there. You see Irvine goalkeeper able to get it and block the shot. Tense moment. Both teams trying to take it over. SDSU on the two-meter cone on the left side of the net here. Look at the whole set. Goalkeeper yeah. able to get the ball. You see her mind able to clear that out, then recover. Close from the SDSU must have had a turnover right there on the other side. You see her mind the five meter cone. The two meter cone on the right side. Go so timeout. From what I can see here, it looks to be about two minutes left on the clock. Two minutes 14, two minutes 40. 5-5 five, five here in the fourth quarter. Teams heading back out there for the last two minutes. You see Irvine starting with the ball. <coughs> Coming to the five meter cone. Plenty of time. 30 seconds on the clock. Two minutes, seven seconds. The five meter. Now the two meter on the right side. Give him a man 50, got to look for that opening. Every shot counts. On the left side. It's DSU able to stop it. That's DSU we want a big breakaway here. You see everybody able to stop it at the five meter cone. Into the whole set.
Another timeout. SDSU A and UC Irvine, both tied at five. <laughs> SDSU making the way back out. Go, go. Less than two minutes left. SDSU with the two meter crown on the left side. Right side now. Noise able to make it in SDSU. Able will take the lead. Number 15, Rachel Thompson. Down to the last minute. SDSU now at six. UC Irvine five. A minute left in this game. SDSU expectedly showing some aggressive defense here, not giving UC Irvine the opportunity. UC Irvine the two-meter cone. Now to the whole set. Possible opportunity here. SDSU goalkeeper will maintain the ball. SDSU looking to seal the game here. Making their way to mid pool here. Now the five meter cone. Eight, four seconds left here on the shot clock. Three seconds left here. At I don't know if you see Ryan's anything left to do. Perhaps a last minute shot all the way from the back. You see Ryan unable to tie the game back up here. SDSU A takes the game here 6 to 5 in the nail biter of a game that we've seen today. Came down to the last minute and the last minute shot from number 15, Rachel Thompson of SDSU. He will seal the victory for her team. Final score of, oh, excuse me, it looks like we just lost the feed here. Thank goodness we at least made it to the, yeah, we are back. Game seven, SDSUA, six, UC Irvine, five. Thank you for tuning in to CWPA Network. The next game 
is San Diego State University B versus University of California, San Diego A. Stay tuned and check out all the new collegiate waterpolo.org. Now mobile friendly. I'm Jack Barron.